Hello and welcome everyone to our tutorial on how to install Java on your Windows 10 machine. Before we proceed with the installation, let's check whether you already have Java installed or not. Let's go to our search bar and we will type cmd. This will open our command prompt where we can type a command java space hyphen version and hit enter. If you are like me, seeing this message, it means you don't have Java on your machine. And if you see the message with Java version displayed, then it means you already have Java on your system. However, if your version shows us 1.9 or 11, 12, 13, please make sure to uninstall that version and have Java 8 installed. Because throughout the entire course, we will be using Java 8. So now let's close this window and let's navigate to our browser. And in the search, we will type Java, Java 8, KDK, download. Let's select our first link, which is our official Oracle website. Once we navigate it here, we will have to scroll down and we will have to select our operating system. And in our case, it will be in Windows 64. And we will have to click on this executable file. As soon as you will click, we will have a window pop-up in which it will ask you to accept license agreement. Go ahead and select this and click on download. From here, you will be navigated to Oracle account. Here, if you're already active user of Oracle, go ahead and enter your credentials. And if you don't have an Oracle account, go ahead and click on Create. Here, it will navigate you to the separate window in which you will have to enter your personal information. The most important part in here to enter your email address and to select your password. The rest of the information related to your uh, company name, job title, and work phone, and address of the company, it can be anything. You can put just ABC company. In my case, I already have an Oracle account, so I will close this window, and I will just enter my credentials. And I will enter my valid password. As soon as you provide the right credentials, Oracle will allow you to download the executable Java file. Depend on your system and depend on your, on your internet speed, it might take a few seconds or a few minutes. Once download is completed, let's go ahead and open the file. Click on open. And we will have to install it. We can close our browser. Okay, let's click on yes. Close my browser and here we'll just have to continue clicking next next This process also might take a little bit of time. Once installation is completed, we will click on close. Now what we will have to do, we will navigate to the location where Java is installed, which in our case will be our C drive. So I'll go to this PC. I'll go to C drive. You will need to go to program files and find Java. Double click on this. In here, you will see two folders. One is JDK, one is GRE. The folder that we need is JDK. Double click on this. And from here, we will have to select the path. Once you select the path, go ahead and copy it. So this path, we will need to set up our system environment variables. Okay, we can close this window. Let's go to our search bar. And let's type environment. There you go. So our system environment variables show up. Click on it. From here, select environment variables. 
So under environment variables, we will have to set up system variables and we will have to create a Java home variable. So go ahead and click on new. Using uppercase type Java underscore home. And for the value piece, the path that we have copied earlier. Once you copy the page and paste it, go ahead, click OK. So once we set it up Java Home, we also need to add location to our bean driver. So find your variable path and click on edit. Once you click on edit here, we will be adding new variable. So in this case, we will specify the location to our Java Home. We will type percentage sign uppercase Java underscore home percentage site backslash bin as soon as you finish it go ahead and click OK we'll click OK here and in here so now what we'll do let's double check whether we installed our Java properly and whether we set our Java home also properly let's go to our search again let's type CMD now from here again let's type a command Java space hyphen version hit enter so now what we've seen the version of Java that we installed now let's check whether we set our Java home properly so what I will type I will type echo percentage site Java underscore home percentage site hit enter Okay, so if you install your Java Home properly, you also will see the path to our Java Home. Okay, so we are successfully installed our Java. Thank you, and we'll see you in our next video.